Hi, I'm Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a project located in Kenwood, Ohio. It's part of the Kenwood Mall project. Kenwood Mall is some high-priced real estate which contains a Nordstrom's and with a new addition to the mall they're going to be adding an REI, a Crate and Barrel, a Kroger store, and some other high-end retail. In order to accomplish the construction objectives, they needed to have a parking area located above and behind me approximately 37 feet in the air. In addition to that, the top of the retaining wall, where the parking area is, needed to be accessible by two different ramps coming out of a five-story parking garage. These ramps were to split into two different areas and bear on the top and behind the retaining wall to allow parking from up above the wall to get down into the five-story parking garage. We reviewed a number of wall block systems with the owner and the owner selected Keystone Century Block. They liked the appearance and the appearance of the block was also approved by the local zoning administration. The Keystone Century wall blocks use a fiberglass pin to help them align and to help connect the geogrid to the block. The geogrid for the project included Stratigrid 200, Stratigrid 350, and Stratigrid 500. The geogrid lengths were approximately 35 feet long at their longest point. The geogrid lengths were determined primarily based on global stability criteria. The lowest geogrid layers were the longest geogrids, and as the wall was constructed upward, we were able to make some of the geogrids shorter. Because of the wall height and because of the sloping soils below and in front of the retaining wall, a significant amount of this retaining wall was buried. Approximately five feet of wall is buried below the ground. On many retaining wall projects, the retaining wall interacts with other structures. We are standing at the bottom of the 37 foot high piece of wall and you'll notice we are very close to the five story parking garage. This is the outside wall of the parking garage and the architect required a gap such that there was no soil load on the parking structure. Because the parking structure extends all the way up to the top of our retaining wall, and because our retaining wall needs to bear against something, we had to come up with a creative solution to make sure that our retaining wall could interact properly with this structure without overloading the parking, the walls of the parking lot, the parking structure. For more information, go to retainingwallexpert.com, right here, right now.